Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit in this Azure Data Factory Master Program. This is one of the very, very important hands-on lab, okay, wherein we will see how to recover the specific file which got accidentally deleted in the Azure storage account using the 11 steps, okay. So normally in the Azure storage account or through the pipelines, we might have deleted files which are not supposed to be deleted. Okay, so maybe we realized after one day or two days how we can able to recover them. It is very, very important in real time. So many people are struggles a lot to recover these things. Okay, so we will quickly see how we can quickly recover such type of files if you are accidentally deleting from the azure data factory using delete activity or manually through the azure portal mostly in real time you will not have access to the azure portal and uh, like uh, going through the portal to delete it maybe you will connect to the storage using azure data to uh, storage explorer okay we use something a storage explorer to connect to the storage accounts maybe you deleted the files from there also right so way from wherever doesn't matter you deleted the files now how to recover okay so we will see how to delete and recover for that uh, let me explain step by step prerequisite for this is i'll be creating one storage account blob storage then i'll be enabling a soft delete on the blob storage it is very important to enable this particular option mostly all the admins will enable this because it's very difficult to recover without enabling the soft delete if you have a soft delete is enabled so we can able to like quickly recover through the admins right so that's why we will see how to enable the soft delete on the storage account and then i'll create one data factory integration on time azure ir i'll use one linked service i'll create one data set then activities i'll use delete activity pipeline is basically i can call it as a ingestion pipeline okay let's see hands-on steps if you see i'll create a storage blob and adf then uh, on the storage blob i'll enable the soft delete i'll show you how to delete it how to enable it and uh, we will create a one container in the source blob we will upload the respective files then we will open adf we will create a linked service data sets then pipeline in pipeline we will use the delete activity to delete the files once we delete these particular files by now uh, running this particular pipeline so we will also see how to recover them through the portal okay so let's get started these steps this is source blob and adf let me quickly go and create the azure blob storage and one azure data factory let me go into the second okay now i am in the azure portal right just click on storage accounts click create storage accounts now i'll be just creating my own resource group called cloud pandit iphone dev cloud pandit iphone dev iphone rg click ok so the storage account name is cloud pandit blob or maybe you can say source blob okay then click review so it is not available just enable some one or two you can put here click review so it is going to validate whether this name is available or not so you can see it is enabled now click create so once it is created now go to the second tab open the portal.azure.com go inside this so so now let's create the data factory click on data factory click create data factory choose the resource group which we created data factory name cloud and adf version 2.2.0.8 okay just click review plus create click create so now if you see step one and step two is completed now what we need to do we need to enable the soft delete on the source block so let's go to the source block this is a source block uh, so it is available go to resource now come down you see something called uh, data protection okay if you click on this data protection come down in the data management we see an option called data protection once you click on data protection uh, it will load right so just wait for a second so now we can able to see right so enable soft delete for blob is by default it is enabled and whenever you delete any file in the storage account in this particular blob in this particular storage account 
by default that particular file they will keep it for seven days if you are not restoring this or if you are not recovering within seven days it will be permanently deleted so this option is by default enable but if you want to increase the days or if you want to decrease the days you can able to do it here once you have done that you can able to save it okay so already the option is enabled for me so for all the storage accounts by default it will be enabled but if you want to disable it or if it is not enabled you can check this option to enable this okay fine the third step is also completed we have verified enables of delete is already enabled on our storage account now create a container and upload some files okay let me create a container and upload some files in this go to containers click container kasht is the container i am creating go inside the kasht let's upload browse for files i am going through the cloud pandit iphone desk okay here let's say i am just taking files from here to maybe till here okay all the files i'm just uploading okay so first let me show you here how to check it okay let's say i am selecting this uh, maybe something i am checking on the change access or something by default i clicked on the delete and i also in something i was thinking and i just clicked delete it okay so now that particular file is deleted right so you will not be able to see which is nothing but a temporarily access is not given to you for that particular file but if you want to see that particular file here right side you see show deleted blobs if you click on the show deleted blobs the status is marked as a deleted okay so now in order to recover what you can do click on this click on undelete so once you click on undelete what happens is this particular file we can able to recover it again okay so let's say here we have deleted the file and we have recovered from the portal let's say if i have deleted the file from the delete activity in the azure data factor by mistake what will happen let's see that okay let me open the azure data factory then uh, i'll create one linked service one data set i'll add pipe and i'll use delete activity okay to delete the file let's say i'm coming here go to uh, azure data factory let's launch the azure data factory here so now if you see our azure data factory is ready now go to manage let's click on new linked service for the our blob storage okay select blob this is a blob this is a ds for blob okay and this is the subscription this is a storage name is this okay, test connection recovery okay sorry you just create it okay Uh, linked service we have created now let's quickly go to the author tab we will create a data set click on this click new data set for the blob storage ds for blob okay this is a or maybe source or whatever you want to use you can use this is a browse it select this is the cust container under that all the files i can have all the files i can have okay click okay click okay. now next step is we need to add the pipeline so this is my pipeline so you can just rename this pipeline if you want to rename data ingestion but it, it is instead of calling it as a data ingestion data clean up okay so now i am using a delete activity okay so i'll use this source source is what this is the source data set logging i am disabling so we will discuss logging in the next session so here if you see wildcard file path right so if you use wildcard file path you can just mention so the wildcard means if you go to the storage we have different types of files if you see we have cust files we have credit files i'll say the file names which starts with the credit all those files i want to delete okay so let's say by mistake what happens credit star i have given all the files which are starting name with the uh, credit will be deleted okay let's quickly see that debug it so our delete activity successfully completed let's see how many files it is deleted if you see 
one second so this is the condition we have given files deleted is it is saying two files got deleted okay now let's come to this and refresh it you will see the files which got deleted is credit basically i enabled this show deleted blobs otherwise generally you will see this right so credit both files got deleted so now i want to understand basically if you click on the show deleted blobs you will see the files which got deleted see retention days is six days it is showing meaning six more days is left uh, okay so with today it will be seven days total six more days meaning total seven days of retention we have enabled now what happens is so i supposed to delete only credit one dot cs sorry credit two dot csv by mistake i also deleted a credit one underscore weekly dot csv now if i want to recover this credit one underscore weekly dot csv i can just click on this i can just say undelete similarly i can also click on this okay to undelete this okay so now you see both the credit files are back credit 2.csv credit 1 underscore weekly dot csv okay so this is how we can able to delete the files from anywhere maybe from portal from data factory synops or data bricks whatever once you delete the files you can able to recover if you enable the soft delete that is highly recommend to enable the soft to delete for all the admins i'm suggesting okay fine so now let's quickly go through the some of the summary questions that i have created So what is the soft delete in the context of blob blob storage okay so the soft delete means temporarily disabling the access to a blob the option b is correct correct okay temporarily disabling the access to blob we are not permanently deleting it okay the option b is correct what is the purpose of soft delete in the blob storage so to save the storage cost no to ensure data recovery in case of accidental deletion option b is correct okay next what is the purpose of soft delete retention period so retention period is basically to permanently delete blobs without the possibility of recovery no to specify the time during which blob can be recovered after deletion yes retention period if you can specify uh, within that particular specified time okay you can able to recover that particular deleted file so option c is correct what api allows you to recover a soft deleted blob is as you know undeleted blob method the option a is correct undeleted blob okay next what happens after the soft delete retention period expires for a blob is the blob is permanently deleted option a is correct no need to check the other options in azure data factory what is the purpose of delete activity to permanently remove a data set from the data store to delete the entire uh, data factory pipelines no to delete files or data from a data store as part of the part of an etl process yes the option c is correct to delete files or data from a data store as part of an etl process option c is correct okay thank you all for watching this particular video i hope this will be very helpful for all the people who are working in the azure so i request all of you to subscribe my youtube channel and support me and encourage me to do more such type of videos thank you